America, once considered the land of opportunity, home of the American dream, where the entrepreneurial spirit thrives. But is all that a thing of the past? Now it seems a ridiculous bureaucracy has people jumping through hoops Ow! to start a business. Can the government make entrepreneurs do useless things for no reason? Yes, many business owners are finding today. Tanya Edwards and Bill Main own SEGS in the city, in the heart of Washington, D.C. The important thing is before you get on, make sure the green lights are there. They guide their customers on tours throughout the nation's capital via Segway. I want you to bring your feet forward one inch. But what they're doing is illegal because they don't have a license to speak to tourists. We could be sent to jail for 90 days for not having a license. But he believes he shouldn't need a license to talk to people. It's a, a breach of the First Amendment of the con Constitution. And they're not alone in fighting government bureaucracy to keep their business afloat. Want to become a florist in New Orleans? You must pass a test some say is more difficult than the bar exam to become a lawyer. Completely subjective test that was evaluated by other florists who were going who you were going to be competing against or if you want to build a funeral home in St. Paul, Minnesota. But the government is forcing him to spend $30,000 on a useless embalming room that he doesn't want and doesn't need. These are just a few of the many occupational licensing cases the Institute for Justice says they're fighting against. We're talking about the right to economic liberty here. This is the right of someone to earn an honest living in an occupation of their own choosing. So how are these laws able to get enacted? Lobbyists and special interest groups, they infiltrate politics on the federal and local levels, urging lawmakers to pass regulations that benefit them and keep the competition out. The result, in America growing increasingly regulated. In the 1950s, one in 20 occupations required a government license. Today, it's one in three. And all this red tape is costing taxpayers billions. The Interior Department is in charge of salmon while they're in fresh water, but the Commerce Department handles them when they're in salt water. <laughs> I hear it gets even more complicated once they're smoked. <laughs> but it's no laughing matter. A report from the Government Accountability Office shows billions of dollars spent on bureaucratic waste in the federal government. All the while, President Obama vows to fight unemployment by creating jobs. Tonight, my message to business leaders is simple. Ask yourselves what you can do to bring jobs back to your country. And your country will do everything we can to help you succeed. But what the government needs to do, say many business owners, is get rid of all the red tape that's creating hurdles to reaching economic success. It may be too much regulation that's choking the life out of the U.S. economy. In Washington, Liz Wall, RT.